Everyone, happy Monday. Welcome back to the second episode of Smart Speed Showcase. My name is Nate. If you're new here, this series is all about showing you how customers are using our platform based on the implementations our onboarding team has done this past week. This was an exciting week for our onboarding team. We had a lot of fun builds. In this episode, we're going to be highlighting two different ways customers are using us to create job estimates so they can get back to their customers quickly and with the information they need. Let's dive right in. So we're inside of our Smart Suite homepage and there's two relevant solutions we're going to be jumping in today. First one is Job Estimator. Let's open it up. So there's two relevant apps for this Job Estimator. We have the requests and estimates. Requests are where your customer requests are going to come in. If there's a specific project that a customer wants you to take on for them, they can submit a form. Here's that form. I'll go ahead and show what it looks like to the customer. So here's the form in the eyes of the customer. You can go ahead and replace your logo up here and the customer can fill this out with the project they want you to work on. I'll fill in the information right now. So we fill out this form. We've included a signature field here in case you want them to sign and have this on record. When they submit, it's gonna create a record back in SmartSuite. So your team can jump back inside of the request app. You can be notified when a form is submitted so you can stay up to date when customers are submitting your requests. You can also see the status tracking it's new. So you and your team can jump in and look at the request information at the top. So we see the material, if that's applicable, we can see the description of the project, what the customer is looking for. If we dive down into here, we can see the contact information, email, phone, their signature, if you need to use that for later. Down here is where the automations are gonna to start to happen. So after you've reviewed the requirements for this project that the customer has sent to you, you now are going to click the relevant services that are needed for this project. So let's say you have five services and also materials go into this project you're creating for a customer. You can go ahead and select the services that need to be done for this project. And if there's a material cost involved, you can click this too. And what's gonna happen inside of our estimates is records are created and automatically linked back to the project request that was submitted. And all we have to do is put in an estimated duration for each of the services we offer to create that cost. I've inputted the estimated duration of time we're gonna spend on each of the services. And you can see the cost is actually already created. This is because it's pulling a value from our service type single select. If I open up the settings, that in this expand button here, you can add a value to the values of a single select. You can also add a description too, to explain the service type. This value represents the hourly rate for a specific service. For the material cost, you can see it's blank and you wouldn't be putting in a duration for material costs. Instead, you'd probably be using units of a material. In this field, you can add the units of the material you're using. You can see the cost is calculated here. You may be wondering how this is getting calculated. Well, it's actually pulling the units and multiplying it by the material that was stated inside of the request. If we open up this formula, you can see that we are pulling the numeric value of a single select, not even in this app, but in the other app and getting that value inside of here. We're also keeping the entire cost into one field. Here's the formula I'm using to calculate this. If you wanna pause the video, take a look, now is your time to do that. So we also have this field here called include estimate. By default, this value is set to yes, but this field is used for playing with the value of the estimate. Going back to our request, if you open up that project we submitted here and see the estimate details that we've created in this formula field is summing up the cost of our estimate with this formula here. Now, let's say you had a max budget of $5,000 like this project has, and you needed to get rid of a service to fit that budget. You can click into an estimate here, simply turn off, include an estimate, save. And when you come back, the total estimate cost is already updated. So now that you're happy with this estimate right here and you wanna get back to customer, you can click the share view to create a read only link of this specific view. When we click preview in a new tab, it takes us to the share view and this is what the customer is gonna be seeing. What you can do is copy this link and come back to the request and you can paste this link inside of the estimates so you can keep that share view stored so you know what the customer has the link to. Let's say this was ready for review and you're ready to send it back to the customer. What you can do is hit estimate complete. And with an automation, it actually is going to send the information about the estimate with this share view link back to the customer. And it's using the contact info from 
the customer that submitted the form. Here is what that email looks like. It's sent from my Gmail and, and here's the link. When I click on this, it opens up that link we created. Now, this is a great estimator. If you're working with a core amount of services, not a ton of them, and you want to create quick estimates to get back to your customers. Now let's jump over to our second job estimator. This job estimator is great. If you use a lot of services, we have customers housing over 1700 different services inside of here. And the quotes is where we're going to have that running log of all the quotes you've created in the history of your company. And this can be linked back to the customers. So you can see which customers have requested which quotes and what has happened with that customer in the past, whether they accepted the quote or not. Let's jump over to customers first. When I open up this record, we have the customer information at the top. We have notes and next steps where you can create checklist items for that specific customer. And then down here is where we have the link to the services and the quotes. Let's create a new customer just to show you how this works. So it could be submitted through a form or you can just get the records in here. What's gonna happen is you're going to look into the link to services. And you're gonna see all the services you offer. If you're working with thousands of services, you can simply jump to the advanced settings and you can filter by some sort of condition. Maybe you're looking where the title contains some sort of name. We're going to pick the relevant services that this specific customer requires. So let's pick this top six here. When I go ahead and create that link, those six services are linked now to customer two. We have these fields here that are collecting some information about the service. In this specific example here, our customer was comparing the prices of some competitors and they can store all of that information here inside of relevant fields. So let's pull the price list we wanna compare for these specific services and see what they're charging. So that way we can figure out what we wanna charge. After analyzing here, we can start creating prices of our own. You can copy the values over the ones that you wanna charge. And with some formulas, we're going to be able to see the profit based on the available costs and also the gross margin. Once you're happy with this final price, what you can do is filter out the customer is not empty. So you only see the relevant records or the relevant services that are at hand here. And you can go ahead and bulk select all these services and check the price is final because you're ready to proceed. And if we jump over quotes, records are going to be automatically created based on the services you've clicked. It's automatically gonna link back to the customer. As you can see, we're grouping by the link to customer and you can see your price that you set, the status of it. And we also have the gross margin, the profit, the variability that's pulling from the services that you picked. So here is where you're gonna to wanna to get the information back to the customer and you can create a separate view for that as well. Once again, you can click the share view to get the information back out. Inside of the services, what you're going to do is actually just clear the values from the customer right here. So that way you can use it next time. We can clear this filter and all these services now don't have a link and we can remove the final price too. Inside of the automation that creates the quotes, we can also remove this value. I just left it like this for now. That wraps up this smart suite showcase. I hope you got some insight on how you can use smart suite to create job estimates. Remember you can personalize smart suite as much as you'd like. These are just two examples of the ways customers are using it currently. So make it your own. I know I rolled through this episode very quickly. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll make sure to respond. Thanks for listening to this episode and I'll see you next week.